Welcome everybody. Good morning everybody. Um, I believe today's message is going to bless you. Today's message, we, we are talking about broken. Broken. Amen. Um, before I do, let's get into some prayer. Dear God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for, for this morning, Lord God. Thank you for waking us up this morning, Lord God. Thank you for giving us another day, another opportunity, Lord God. And, and, and we just want to thank you for that, Lord God. And bless us this morning, Lord God. Open up our ears, our minds, our hearts, our bodies, our souls, Lord God, to receive your message that it would change us and that it would rearrange us and that it would do something magnificent, Lord God. We thank you in your precious name. Amen. Amen. So I'm excited. Today's message is called Broken. Uh, uh, I don't know where you're at today in life. And maybe this message, you feel like you are broken. Like you are a broken, like your whole life is broken, like it, it is shattering. And, and, and we tend to things that we tend to think that broken things are no longer any good. But see, it is opposite to God. He uses broken things. He uses our broken lives. He uses the broken things to do great miracles in this world. So today's message is broken. Now, if you feel like you are not worthy because you are broken, let me remind you of, of some of the great people in the Bible time and time and over and over again, God used these people and they were broken. Watch. Abraham was old. Joseph was a slave and imprisoned. Job went bankrupt and lost everything. Moses had a speech problem. Samson was a womanizer. Rahab was a prostitute. The Samaritan woman was a divorcee and an adulterer. Noah was a drunk. Jacob was a cheater. David was a murderer. Jonah ran from God. Peter denied Christ. And, and sometimes it felt like Peter had a little bit of an anger issue. Remember, he was out there chopping people's ears off. Martha worried about everything. Thomas was a, was a skeptic and a doubter. He was like, nah, I'm not going to believe this. I don't believe anything, right? Now, Paul used to persecute the Christians. He was chasing after the Christians, and God used them as a leader for the Christians. And let's not forget a bunch of 12 misfit, broken people, the disciples, that Jesus chose. He chose them. They didn't choose him. He chose them. They were broken. They were misfits. And God chose them for a greater purpose. We are all broken. Let's just, we're all broken. But it's okay. Watch this. In Romans 8.28, and it says this, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. See, we don't know the purpose. We might think, okay, God can't use us. We're broken. How can God use somebody like me? But God has a bigger and different plan. He uses broken vessels. Now, to us, I mean, we might break a plate and we throw it away. It's no longer useful to us. But to God, it's different. Now, I was watching this show and, and, the, and, and this, uh, this young woman, she, she saw some things and to me, they were just junk. They were broken pieces of things. Like there were parts of a rim and, and, and different things, right? And, and it was just a bunch of trash to me. And she looked at it and she's like, oh, I can make something with that. I can make something with that. And I'm like, what are you going to make with that? That's they're just broken parts. I mean, they're like, like I'm talking about like, like caps of a rim or, or just different things. And then at the end of the show, she built this, this 
this nice looking uh, uh, masterpiece. See, she's an artist, so she looked at it different. God is an artist. He looks at broken pieces different than you and me. He's like, ah, I can make something with this. I can use this. That's amazing. See, you take a glow stick and when you first grab a glow stick, it, it is useless. But then you break it and something amazing happens. It lights up the world. See, when you are broken, God can use you to light up the world. I saw another thing. It, it, it was a, what is a, a, a more useful when it's broken than, than, than when it's whole? And I thought it was a glow stick. But the answer was an egg. Now, I, think, I still think the answer is better a glow stick. But an egg, you think about it, it's like, yeah. You know, I can't, I can't use an egg when it's whole. But when you break it, Oh man, you make some good stuff, right? It is more useful to us. I mean, to us. I don't know about the, 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 the chicken mother. I mean, but, but to us, it's very delicious, right? It's protein. Now, have you ever noticed that with a crayon, you can still color even though it's broken? It's still useful. It's broken, but it still does its purpose. You might be broken today, but God can still use you to do his purpose, to paint a beautiful picture. Amen. To create a beautiful canvas in this life. Even though you are broken, God, can still use you. Now, I was looking at my dining table chairs and, and, and as I look at them, I'm like, man, you know, kids have jumped on it. I mean, it, they, they've lasted through the times, right? And, and it's been over years that we've had them. And I was looking at, at them and, and they're all tore up, they're beat up, they're broken, they're, they're just falling apart, they're old. And I was thinking to myself, yeah, I can't do nothing with that. I got to throw them away, just get new ones. But see, God is different. He doesn't think that way. See, we as humans, we think that way. We think when something is old, broken, beat up, and tore apart, that it is no longer useful for, to us, that we can no longer use it. See, but God is different. He sees that as an opportunity to do something great with you. So maybe, and, 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 and the harsh reality is that people sometimes do that to each other. We tend to use each other, abuse each other in relationships or, or family or, or loved ones or, or whatever, or even jobs, right? We tend to get used and abused, and, and once you're all wore out and everything, they're like, ah, I'm getting rid of you, I'm getting something better. Relationships, loved ones, jobs, like I said. But the great thing is God doesn't do that. See, he sees something broken, and he says, I can change the world with this. I can still use you. I can still use her. I can still use him. God says, yes, that is the broken vessel that I'm choosing to do a beautiful masterpiece and work in this world. God sees a different. See, he's an artist. He loves broken things. He's a carpenter, amen? I mean... Ooh, that's a that's a revelation right there. I didn't even have that as a note. He's a carpenter. 
just think about that. I mean, you take a tree, you break it down, you, you saw it, and then you make a house or, or a building. Yeah, hey, man. You make tables, you make all kinds of things, right? With broken parts. That's amazing. Now watch this. In Matthew chapter 14, in Matthew chapter 14, Jesus takes five loaves of bread and two fishes. All right. So he takes five loaves of bread, two fishes. He lifts up the bread, breaks it, and then he continues to, to produce a miracle and feed over 5,000 people with those five broken loaves of bread and two fishes. Now, think about this. Why did he break the bread? Why did he break it? I mean, he is Jesus. He could have produced uh, full loaves of bread, right? Just like he produced the broken parts over and over and over. I mean, they, they, at the end of the story, they said there was even more left over. There was baskets left over after he fed the multitudes. Over 5,000 people. Now, think about that. With five loaves, two fishes. I can't. When we have family gatherings and stuff, right? We can't, we can't do that. Like, oh, guys, yeah, come over. I got two, two fishes, five loaves. Oh, don't worry. It's, it's plenty for everybody. But see, God does. But see, he broke it. Now, I thought to myself, why did you break it, Lord? I mean, you could have just produced whole loaves of bread over and over and over. But you broke it. See, he was using that as a sign to let you know that he produces a lot more with broken things. That he uses the broken things of this world to do miracles. He wanted you to see that. He broke it. He wanted you to see that and he broke it. Now watch this. That was Matthew 14. In Matthew 26, verse 26. He does it again, but he's sitting there with his disciples. And this is what it says in Matthew 26, verse 26. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body. He broke it. And he said, Take and eat. This is my body. This is my broken body that I'm going to use to save the world. Watch this. See, Jesus, being a perfect God, came down from his perfect heavenly palace, from his perfect throne, from a perfect heaven to this broken down world with these broken people, with this broken system. See, he left his perfection. He left his perfect place to come to a broken one. To save us all. He was the broken bread to save this starving world. He was that broken bread. See, God used the cross, a broken tree, to display his love and salvation to the whole world. He uses the broken things of this world. God uses them. He uses the broken vessels. God loves you. There's a lot of people with broken families right now, and you might be one of them, but I'm here to tell you that God loves you and he can use your life. Don't ever let anybody tell you that you are not good enough for God to be used, for, for you to be used by God. 
dad, time and time and time, over and over, proved it with the characters and everybody in, from the Bible. He proved it. He proved it when he went to that broken tree and gave his life just for you and me. He loves to use broken things to do great things in this world. Remember that if God gave the ability for a bird to use broken branches to build its nest, he also gave you the ability to use your broken parts to build a home, a life. I'm broken. Are you? I hope this message blessed you. I hope this message uplifts you. And if it does, please share it with somebody. Yes, we are all broken in some way or another. But God is a creator. He is a painter. He is an artist. He is a carpenter. And he uses broken things to create beautiful, miraculous things in this world. He can use your broken life. Will you let him allow him to? God bless you.